Hello, hello. So I am working on, I don't know what day this is. So 8, 19. Yeah, it's 19. That's right. Yesterday was the 18th. <laughs> you know, sometimes time just gets away from me. Um, day 19. Look, we only have a couple sections left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Counting today's. Yay! Okay. Um, I might do a couple one day just so I don't have to do one on Christmas. Because, you know, Christmas is kind of busy. Yeah. So, I might do that. Anyhow. Um, it's really shaping up very nicely. Adding the... Um, well, I have... Let's see. I have three things I'm adding. Okay? I'm adding 321 red AB. So, I'm replacing that one most of the time. The 666, I'm replacing with the AB. And the sparkler, these are sunshine sparklers, and I'm only replacing them sometimes. Um, yeah, I'm using, um, I'm using the symbol, this round symbol, which is um, color 3770, this dot. And sometimes it doesn't make sense to replace the dot. Like right down here, right here are some of those dots. And it's just a little bit of the rug. And I haven't been um, making the rug AB. So anyhow, I'm replacing it when it makes sense, when it's actually something that's sparkly. Look, I dropped a drill on here already. Well, it's a good thing it's going right there. There we go. Yeah, so when it makes sense to put it in there, I do. If it's really supposed to be a sparkly thing, like um, the ornaments or the like candlelight and things like that, I'll replace it. But otherwise, I'm using the regular color. Yeah. I didn't think, yeah. didn't think I needed too much more of that sparkly. Just, just pops of, pops of sparkle here and there. Yeah. Um, so... Yesterday was an interesting day. Let me talk about it quickly. Yesterday was my mom's surgery. It was a long day. Let me just say that right off the bat. It was long. It was long for us. It was pretty short for her. <laughs> you know, she slept through most of the day. Anyhow, um, I started out the day by going to school because it's um, it was a late start Wednesday, which means we don't have kids until later in the day. And they were doing like just teacher appreciation stuff. So there was a breakfast and then they were doing just fun things, nice things for the teachers for a few hours. Like there was um, somebody there to teach kickboxing and somebody there to do yoga. And there was another room that was set up with the relaxation, called a relaxation room, where you could color, you could paint, on some rocks because we're trying to make some rocks for our garden that's going in this spring um just relax you know there was bean bags music playing just and then there was massage like a five minute chair massage now i've never had a massage i'll just tell you that other than you know like my husband rubbing my shoulders or something i've never had an actual massage therapist. So I stopped into school yesterday. My daughter and I were both going to go up to the hospital, but we had a little bit of time before we needed to be there. So we stopped in and um, had breakfast. There was a secret Santa gift exchange, and I wanted to be a part of that because you know, I'm missing the whole week, and I just I wanted to do some of the stuff. So I did the gift exchange. Um, it was interesting this year how they did it. They wanted it to be, give your person a bag of something. Like a bag of relaxation, a bag of um, goodies, a bag of, you know, it had a theme. Well, I chose a bag of sparkle to give to my person. Right? Why wouldn't I? So... My person got a diamond painting um, with a lot of sparkle. 
and they got some other things like some bath and body items that were sparkly a little bird like a christmas ornament type thing not really an ornament but like these little birds that can sit around they're, they're, i have a bunch they're cute hard to describe them to you anyhow um so she got a bird a sparkly bird and then a bag of candy that was very sparkly so it was a bag of sparkle the funny thing was that my secret santa gave me my gift and it had um body items beauty items similar to what i had given my person the same almost exactly the same bag of candy <laughs> it was so similar it was so funny i was like wow other than the diamond painting in there you know it was very very close it was kind of funny I guess great minds think alike, right? Well, I needed to go to my room for a minute while we were there. And I needed to get the rabbit's food because I have all the big cart container of rabbit food there. And I forgot to bring it home. So I went to get that. Um, and then when I was down my end of the building, that's where they were doing this relaxation room. And the massage chair so my principal came by and she says you got a couple minutes still don't you and i was like yeah i got a couple minutes and she goes well come get a massage i was like oh okay she goes yeah um when this person's done just pop in there and you know get yourself a massage and i was like all right i've never had a massage before like i said and so i thought okay let's go check this out and see what this is all about right <laughs> Well, you know, I sat in this chair, you know, you sit like face down if you've never done it, and you put your face in a little comforting pillowy mat kind of thing, and they massage, right? And so she was working on my shoulders, you know, my in the back, up by my neck. And I was like, yeah, that's sore right there. And she goes, mm-hmm, I bet. <laughs> and I said, that's kind of where I keep my tension is up there in my shoulders. I know I do it. I hunch my shoulders. I get all, you know, she asked me, she says, so is it causing you any trouble with your range of motion? And I was like, mm, no, not really. I said, I just, I know when it hurts, you know, it hurts. And she goes, yeah, she kept working and working and working on my shoulder there. And she's like, yeah, it doesn't want to, this knot doesn't want to give up. It's, it's hanging in there. She says, it's pretty tight up there. And I was like, eh, yeah. So she just kept trying and trying and trying. And she said, so when you leave, make sure you drink a lot of water. Because, you know, I really um, messed with that area up there. And you're probably going to feel it. I did. I felt it. <laughs> I don't know if it felt better or worse or what it felt like, but I was just like, oh, okay. Oh. I know it's there. I mean, I can feel it. I can feel it today. It's just, I had a frozen shoulder a couple years back where like you hurt it or something. And then from not using it, it just, it literally wants to freeze up and not work and cause you all kinds of pain. So I went to physical therapy for that for, oh my gosh, for a long time. And it's the same, it's the same shoulder. Now, when I had the frozen shoulder, that hurts in the front. This hurts in the back. I don't know if they're related or if they're not, but I think it's all connected and it's probably all part of the same thing still, but. Yeah, she couldn't really get it to just calm down much. So my daughter was with me and she said, well, you know, my girlfriend is a massage therapist. They actually knew each other, which is funny. The lady that did mine and my daughter's girlfriend. They were like, yeah, we'll see if we can um, keep working on that then at home because I know, you know, I know somebody who can do that. And I was like, okay guess we'll keep working on my shoulder because it's really kind of a mess I guess anyhow then um we were off to the hospital for my mom's surgery so it was a long day we had to be there at 10 she had to be there at 10 and 
her surgery wasn't until noon. They didn't actually get started till more like one o'clock. And then it was just long. So here's the good news on the whole thing. She did really well. Um, she came through with blind colors. The doctor um, did the doctor's work, took out anything that looked weird that um, she might not need. <laughs> anything that looked like it could be causing a problem and um, got her off to recovery. So everything went well. Now it's recovering, all right? Recovering. She's got to get up. She's got to get walking. She's got to get, you know, moving on her own. So as soon as I am done with this video, I'm going up there. I told her I'll be up there today and we're going to go for a walk. We're going to get up. We're going to walk up and down the hall or, or something, you know, just to get her up and moving. So that's my job today. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to get her going and get her moving she will most likely stay all day today and come home tomorrow is kind of the plan so but we're gonna we're gonna take a little walk today you know my mom was so funny at one point i said something to her about moving and getting up and blah blah and what we were gonna do and and she she rolled her eyes at me <laughs> oh lord i'm like hey no no rolling your eyes at me <laughs> This is what needs to be done. This is what we're going to do. Hey, no rolling your eyes at me, woman. <laughs> and she was like, okay, you know. <laughs> like, she knows in her head what she has to do. And sometimes she just needs a little, <clears throat> you know, that little push. Come on, you know what you got to do. Let's just do it. You want to get feeling better? You want to move on from this whole cancer experience so you gotta you gotta play by the rules mom you gotta do what you gotta do so i'm there to um gently yet mm, a little forcefully maybe apply a little pressure uh, not pressure i'm gently nudging in the correct direction she needs to go <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do later so I'm going to get this video recorded and we're going to go, you know, do some walking in the hospital halls. I don't think we're going to break any speed records or, or distance records, but, you know, if we can get down one hall and back, hey, I'll, I'll take that. I'll call that an accomplishment. <laughs> so, yep, I need to get this done so that I can go do that. Anyhow. I still have Christmas things to do. I have wrapping to do. My Christmas village is not getting put up downstairs like I'd hoped. I don't know if it will. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I still have the weekend. It seems a little, I don't know, late to do it. But maybe I will anyhow. We'll see. If my husband volunteered to help, then I would do it for sure. If I'm doing it by myself, I don't know. If I can convince him to help a little bit, then maybe it'll get done. He's working a little bit of overtime this week, so he's working a little bit later every night. And so that's kind of put a wrench in things for us doing anything, you know, in the evenings. But, you know, it is what it is. They needed him. He's doing it. So, yeah. Anyhow, um, Sunday... Sunday, people will converge on my house. Little ones, stepdaughter, daughter, girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. Everybody will be here. And it is cookie baking night. Sunday night is going to be cookie baking. And my stepdaughter and the grandkids will probably come over a little earlier. My daughter has to work. But, um... They'll come over a little earlier. Maybe we'll do a couple kinds of cookies or something or get the cutout cookies started. And then when my daughter gets here, the frosting will begin, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Cookies are gonna get rolling here on Sunday. 
Um, everybody will be here. It will be a fun and festive occasion. We have a good time. We, we do. We just have a great time. It'll be fun. So I'll have some extra adult bakers in the house this year, which will be nice. Um, yeah, so we can get some stuff really rocking and rolling and, you know, make some good progress. Anyhow, there's that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, one night I just need to sit home and wrap presents. Just go downstairs and just wrap like a mad woman, you know? Not like there's tons and tons of stuff, but, you know, wrapping, wrapping just takes time. No matter what, it just takes time. So at least it's all in one spot. And it's kind of organized and ready to roll. So that's good. That'll make it easier. Just got to pull out the boxes of paper and stuff like that. And doing it all downstairs just to make it easy. I forgot to put my mic on for this video. I just realized that, you guys. I hope you've been able to hear me okay. If not, uh, crank up the volume because I did forget my mic. I'm trying to hurry and get this done so I can get up to the hospital, see my mom, see how things are going. I forgot. I'm sorry. All right, the drawings are going well. I've been keeping up with mine. I was a little late on one, but that's because the video was late. So I'm going to draw again today, but my draw today, I'm still going to use that old video instead of this one because you won't have hardly any time to comment on this one. So um, I'll start drawing from this video for my next draws, okay? Just like I've said in the past, if you comment on all of these videos, you'll be covered. It won't really matter which video we um, decide to do the drawing from. If you're commenting, you'll be covered. All right, so just keep that in mind. Um, I think I've heard from almost everybody. I've sent out several um, things already to people. Um, yeah, so it's going well. Um, I think Allie's doing okay now. She's feeling better. I think she's back in the game. I know there's a video up by her. I haven't watched it yet. I'll do that today. <laughs> um, so, yeah, comment on our videos and you'll be you'll be covered. So. Here's what I'm going to tell you about the last day, the Christmas Day drawing, okay? Her and I have been chit-chatting and talking. We wanted to do something a little extra on that last day. So you'll still get your little good tidings gift that we've been giving to everybody. So you'll still get that. But then for that last day, the Christmas Day drawing... We're going to throw in a $20 gift card. A gift card seemed the easiest thing to do right now, and it's going to be an Amazon gift card. So you can go choose what you want on Amazon. If you want diamond painting, great. If you want coloring, awesome. If you want cross-stitch, it'll be up to you. $20 gift card on the last day. Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. It's not a ton of money, but, you know, it's just been a fun Christmassy thing to do. It's not like some major, huge milestone, like, you know, 2,000 subscribers, hint, hint, <laughs> coming up someday. Anyhow, um, it's just been a fun thing to do, but we wanted to make the last one, the Christmas Day one, just a little extra. All right, so there you have it. Now you know. Make sure you keep commenting on the videos, guys. It doesn't matter what you comment. Just comment. Okay, just comment. Um, other than that, I don't think I have much else to say other than wish my bunny blue good luck. Um, it's been a little... We think she's having babies, but then... There's times when you think, she's not very big, you can't really feel babies, I don't know. However, I think, I think she's going to have some babies. This is why I think she's going to have some babies. I went down just now to feed her, and she's pulling her fur out. That is a sign of 
getting ready to have a litter of babies because they will take that fur and put that in their nest. You know, they make a little nest for their babies. Even domestic rabbits do it. You know, wild rabbits do it. They make a little nest. They find grass and hay and things like that to make their nest. Going to my daughter's right now on my way to the hospital to get a bundle, not a bundle, just a little bit of hay to put in her cage. Her nest box is in there and she's pulling fur. I think she's having babies pretty soon, okay? If she is having babies, she should have them like one day next week, right around Christmas. So keep your um, keep your thoughts out for Miss Blue in her possibly impending new motherhood coming up. And if she has some babies, I mean, you'll be certain to know about it. I, I think she's going to. My daughter said she might just be having a very small litter and that's why we can't really tell or feel them in there or, you know, if it's just a couple, we might not be able to really notice. So I, I think it's happening. I really do. So keep her in mind and keep your eye open to see if I show you any new little babies. I hope so. So anyhow. I am going to get off here. I am going to produce this video, throw it out there. Um, I'm going to do a draw video. I'll probably put that up a little bit later. Um, and it's from the other video, the previous video from this one. Just so you know, I'm not using this one. I'll give you time to comment on this video. All right. So without any further ado, I think I shall let you go and make this video, get it out there, and then go waka 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 with my mommy. <laughs> She's going to be so excited to see me. <laughs> she will be so excited to see me. Anyhow. Okay, guys. I'm going to go and um, do all the little things I need to do here real quick before I can head out. So... Sorry if the volume's a little, like I said, just turn it up. I forgot the mic. I mean, I am talking away from my phone, which makes it a little bit quieter. So I hope you can hear okay. Crank it up. Crank it up. Comment on the videos and um, keep paying attention. Watch this canvas as it comes to life and all that good stuff. Alrighty, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.